So today what I thought I'd do is, is I'd do a bit of a review or a general review of my bike, which is a Suzuki GS500. Um, I've had this bike for about two years now and I've put probably about 25,000 kilometers on it. Um, so I've been, I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of uh, what's good and not so good about the bike. Um, I've also been doing quite a bit of maintenance. So I've done things like, um, check the valve clearance in the engine and obviously doing oil changes um, and I've replaced the chain and the sprockets as well. Um, so what can I say about, about this bike? Um, this bike is a 500cc bike um, and in Australia when you're on first getting your motorcycle license and you're on your learner plates um, you can't ride a bike bigger than about a 650. So this bike comes comfortably underneath that limit. And that was the reason that I bought this as the first bike I ever owned. Um, that being said, I think it's uh, pretty good to start off with. It has just enough power that it's kind of exciting and um, pretty fun to ride, but it also uh, isn't enough that you're really gonna um, put yourself in any danger because you're inexperienced. The acceleration isn't amazing, but once it does get up to speed, it can go fairly fast. Um, one thing I will say, if this is a beginner bike for you, uh, I have not found any, um, Oggy knobs for this bike. I've heard them also called, uh, like crash knobs. Um, and those are basically the rubber knobs that you put on the side of a sports bike to stop it from being damaged when um, it falls over. Basically, once you take the fairing off this bike, what you'll see is um, there isn't really anywhere to attach uh, one of those knobs to. Underneath the fairing is some sort of support which hold the fairing on, but none of them are strong enough they could really take the weight of the bike. As a result, if you do drop this bike, odds are you will damage the fairing. You can see that I have dropped it quite a few times, mainly from a standstill. So there's a little bit of damage here and there um, on the bike. This isn't a problem. If it's your first, first bike, then you should expect that to happen. Although one thing that is frustrating is when you drop it, if you have these blinker lights on, um, what's going to happen is they're going to bend and the actual sort of mount or um, area that they're in around the fairing can crack. Um, this is sort of annoying because if it does crack, it, that's how the light is secured onto the bike. Which means that basically if you drop it, you may have to replace the fairing um, just so that you can keep your lights on the bike. It's a real pain, but it is what it is. So as you can see, I have a lot of gear on my bike right now. Um, and I found that even though this is a sort of beginner level sports bike, um, you can actually stick a fair bit of gear on if you're pretty clever about how you do it. I've taken this bike on road trips um, a lot across a lot of the south um, of Australia um, and the southeast of Australia. And it's held up pretty well. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's fun to ride. Uh, it handles pretty well. One thing I've done um, because I am using this bike for touring is I've actually put some handlebar raises on the bike. Um, part of this, uh, the reason for this is just so I'm in a bit more of an upright position when I'm riding the bike, um, which helps with, uh, the comfort on a long trip. Um, unfortunately, I think this bike, it's actually quite hard to find things like, uh, a frame to mount a top box on the back of a bike. Um, I actually welded one myself so that I could have a top box on this bike. But if you're buying a bike, this model of bike, and you want a top box, you should just be aware that they're very hard to come by anymore. It doesn't seem to be anywhere you can order them from. Um, and you might have to try and find one secondhand, which would be difficult. There's also no panniers for this bike or pannier racks. So if you really do want to put some panniers on the bike like I have right now, or some soft bags, you're going to have to get the kind that just rest against the side of the bike, um, which seems to be fine so far. I've used that quite a bit. And um, apart from a little bit of like smudging on the paint, it doesn't seem to be much of a problem for the bike. 
Uh, the bike has about 11 or 13 liters. It holds about 11 or 13 liters of fuel, which is quite good. I tend to get about 350 kilometers on the bike as I've been riding um, on one tank of fuel, which isn't too bad. It might not be as much as you'd want for if you're doing a really long road trip, but it seems to be quite good as well. Um, as far as the ease of doing maintenance, um, you do have to take the cowling or the fairing off to change the oil, um, but that's not really a big deal. I believe that it's one of the easier bikes to do maintenance on, especially if you're a beginner like me and you want to start learning how to do maintenance. Um, I think it's actually quite easy to access the engine and the spark plugs and all of that sort of stuff compared to other motorcycles. Um, I came into owning this bike with basically zero knowledge about mechanics and I've just sort of been picking it up and learning and teaching myself along the way and that doesn't seem to have been much of a problem. Um, I've cleaned the carburetor and that wasn't too hard although it was a little bit difficult um, and uh, I've done a few other basic jobs on the bike and it seems to be pretty good overall. Um, so the height of the seat is about 79 centimeters off the ground. So it's not a huge bike, although you will notice it's sort of a long bike. I've had people comment on that in the past that it's quite long um, compared to other sort of smaller sports bikes. Um, and I suppose that is true. Uh, I don't find it particularly difficult to handle even at low speeds. Um, but if you're a really, really tall person, you might want to look at a different bike because it is sort of, um, I don't know, a bit of a smaller bike, I suppose. Um, what else can I say? One other thing about dropping the bike is I actually have some replacement um, rear vision mirrors on this bike. And part of the reason for that is that I dropped the bike a while back and broke off one of the mirrors. The original mirrors stuck really far out from the bike, which is great for visibility. But when you drop the bike, basically, it means I think they're a little bit more likely to break than other kinds of mirrors. These ones are a little bit further in. Um, so I think they'll, if I do end up dropping the bike again, I think uh, they'll probably be a little bit better in terms of that. I think that's really all I have to say for now. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good bike. I'd recommend it.